Okay, gang, let's talk about plans of study. Let's put these things together and we are gonna rock this out. So when you all are done with your education, you're gonna jump right in, know where to go, know how to put your courses together for your licensure board. So um, as I mentioned before in the last video, this plan of study that you're gonna put together for us looks almost identical to the course progression that you'll need to put together for the licensure board. So I've got an example of a filled out plan here, uh, the graduate plan of study. This is for LPC track. There's more flexibility on this one, so that's why I included this one. The LADC, you know, you see I have some blanks, some blank courses here on this LPC track. LADC, you won't have any blanks. LADC, it says they're electives, but really they aren't electives. They're basically chosen for you because the board for the licensed uh, alcohol and drug counselors requires you to have specific classes. So unless you wanna take uh, classes over and above 60 hours, that minimum to get the degree, uh, you know, I would go ahead and just complete, if you're doing the LADC, just go ahead and fill in all the blanks. So just for an example, so those of you that this does apply to, here is the uh, LADC form. And you can see that there are fewer options. And the reason why there are fewer options is because you're basically, you don't have real electives. You have to take this, you know, all of these set classes to get an LADC. Uh, if you want to stop at 54 hours, that's enough for LADC. If you want to be eligible for both licenses, both LPC and LADC, you have to add these two onto your plan of study. So let's go ahead and jump right in here and look at exactly what it takes to put together a plan of study. Now, there are two groups of people coming in. Uh, one group, and this is the largest group, this is most of you. Uh, most of you, this will be your first semester uh, as true graduate students. So um, that mean, meaning you'll take your first graduate hours. If that's the case, then uh, you're going to want to go a certain direction. Now, if you uh, were able to take a few hours of graduate work now in the fall, if you're currently enrolled in taking some graduate courses, you may want to go a different way. And so that's going to be the main distinguishing factor in this video. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. I put together a kind of cheat sheet or plan of study essentials to consider. And so when you do your plan of study, you'll want to pay particular attention to the course progression. The course progression can be found if you go to your MCP student home which is what I pulled up here. It can be found under forms. If you click on forms and you'll see the first thing that pops up here are course rotations. So you go ahead and open that and you'll notice that we have several semesters listed, fall 17, spring of 18. This particular document I've got on here right now goes all the way up to fall of 20. So basically we can use this summer of 20 and this is the next semester spring of 20. We can use this to help plan for your degree which is what we need to do. So first of all as you are going to have your plan of study up and, and going so let's uh I'll use this blank one I'll use the LADC. So this is uh, plan of study, but please be aware that the LPC is very similar plan of study. So your name, you put your student's student name right here, your ID number, um, your program is MCP. And the very first thing you'll want to enroll in is this education class. So there are some of you that have probably three or four that have already taken this. Most of you, by far and away, most of you have not taken this. When you look for this, it's very important that when you go in the catalog, when you actually go into Aleutian, 
that you see that, oh, it's an education class. Uh, there's one other instance where this will come up and that's for intro to research, but you can see that uh, you'll want to put that education down. So uh, this, you'll enroll in that this semester. This course is offered every fall and every spring. And so you'll want to, if you haven't already taken this, you need to take this your first semester. So that'll be spring of 2020. Uh, this is, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not getting any credit. The reason why you're not getting any credit for this particular course is that it, it's really going to take like two and a half hours one Saturday morning, either in the first part of February or late January, uh, for you to accomplish this. It's basically, the only goal is to orient you to the program. You'll also, during this time, you'll also get acquainted with this graduate committee form. And so Dr. Holliday will conduct this class. And so you'll be able to think about choosing your graduate committee during this class. Now, if you've already taken this, uh, you should have already filled this out and hopefully already submitted it to me. Okay, so back to the plans of study. So we've got this blank plan of study before us. So this will be what's facing you as you go forward. So uh, you'll go down the list here and you'll see, well, there's human growth and development, advanced, abnormal statistics. Of a set. There's a lot of classes you've got to take. You've got to take 20 classes, you know, 60 total hours is 20 classes. So over the next two, two and a half years, you want to schedule these 20 classes in your life somewhere, you know, taking into consideration your work schedule, your life schedule, you know, children, parents, whoever you're taking care of, uh, you want to consider those things. <clears throat> but and I'll, I'll share this on uh, uh, underneath the video on the MCP student website. There are some essential things you want to consider. So the first off is make sure you get in that graduate study seminar. We, in effect, have done that right here, graduate study seminar, so we're in it. Now, this is the next big thing, and this is what will separate from some of you and put you in a different cohort versus others, okay? So we have a very big class coming in, about 20 of you. And some of you have already taken individual counseling. If you took, or if you're currently in individual counseling this fall, you know, I hate to say this to the other folks, but you actually can graduate a full year ahead of uh, the folks that are just coming in in the spring. And I'll show you the reason why. I'll show you the reason why that is. And I don't mean to discourage others that, oh my gosh, I got a whole nother year. It's not necessarily that way. So, so let me show you why that is. If you look at this, uh, the way that our, our courses progress, uh, most of our classes are not offered every semester. And the reason being is that this is based on a cohort model. Uh, part of our education plan for you is to is to go through as a group. You'll get to know each other quite well. Uh, you know, I've interviewed each one of you that are coming in and, and have been in maybe the, you know for the first you know few months here uh, in the fall. And uh, you bring a lot of diverse experiences with you. You bring a lot of life experience. You bring a lot of different perspectives, and it's that's going to be your strength as students as a group because you'll find that there are courses where you're going to rely heavily on each other and learn a lot about each other because when we when we counsel when we learn to counsel people we number one one of the goals is to become very authentic and genuine because you look at the research that's emerged over the past 20 years and you have all these different models but what what in effect people have found is that the driving force of change in a counseling relationship is the genuineness and, and, and the respect and the therapeutic alliance that happens between the client and the counselor. And so you'll be practicing, not this semester, but in upcoming semesters, uh, actually some of you may, the handful of you that already took individual counseling, will be pra actually practicing counseling, will be actually starting to un like, just start to develop some of these essential 
basic skills for talking to other people, for listening, uh, for being with someone that will uh, help develop a very strong relationship moving forward. That is really the heart and soul of what makes counseling effective. And so our, 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 our whole program is built on you kind of supporting each other. You know, obviously we're going to be teaching a lot of things. We're going to be uh, requiring a lot of uh, different work from you to, you know, find different skill sets that will be necessary for you in, in whatever population you go and work with. Uh, but a lot of this is also going to be the developed between each other. So, um, and that'll make more sense as you go through the program. But that said, we don't offer classes every semester. In other words, all of, all of our, you know, 37 classes we offer for the, for the graduate program aren't offered every semester. Thus, you need to consult the course progression PDF when putting together your plan of study. That cor course progression PDF is found under forms, course progression, and it looks like this. So, and you'll find which, there are a couple of classes that are offered every semester, but not very many. Okay, so we found one already that is offered each semester. And that is this Education 5010 Graduate Study Seminar. Each one of you need to get in that, enroll in that this semester if you haven't already. Next, we want to consider our essentials, our required classes. So uh, there's a lot of crossover between LADC and LPC. So, um, you know, you're not going to miss much if you... Uh, if, if you're not using this LPC uh, form. But this, you know, if, if you find the LPC form, it's right here. And I, I've already kind of put one together. But you can see that uh, what, what you're going to do is you're gonna find what semester that you can fit these classes into, okay? And you're gonna do that by consulting with these course rotations. Now, this is the big thing that's going to separate you guys. Those of you that took individual counseling this fall will be able to, and I'm going to strongly recommend, this is my advisement. So if you already took individual counseling this fall, the graduate level individual counseling, you need to make sure that you enroll in strategies and techniques. So as you approach your, your plan of study here, so let's say that you're in this group that took individual counseling in the fall. You will need to take strategies and techniques this spring, 2020. The reason why is because then, and everybody pay attention to me, because those of you that haven't, that, that didn't take individual counseling, this will affect you the same way. These five courses right here build on each other. So you have to take individual counseling before you can take strategies and techniques, before you can take supervised experience, before you can take practicum, before you can take your other practicum. So if you look at this, this is one year, two years. It'd be two and a half years. So ideally, uh, if, you, if you do this the right way, you can get done in, a little over two years, okay? Because you have to take these in sequence. Individual counseling is not offered in the spring. It's only offered in the fall. Strategies and techniques is not offered in the fall. It's only offered in the spring. Supervised experience is only offered in the fall. Practicum is only offered, well, actually practicum is offered every semester. But you have to have these three classes before you can get into practicum. That's the biggest thing. If you, if you get anything from this, that's the biggest thing, is when you get into individual counseling and that progression, because that is going to determine when you graduate. That's going to determine how quickly you get through the program. That's the most important thing that you can pay attention to. Um, there's one other thing that's a little bit, it's not as important, but it's still, it's still significant, because there are two other classes where you have to have a prerequisite. That's statistics of assessment that's offered in the fall. 
And then the secondary assessment class where you actually give tests to other people, that's offered in the spring and summer. Okay, so that works a little bit like this and yet you'll learn theories in individual counseling and you'll learn how to actually apply and demonstrate those theories in these other classes. It's kind of the same thing for the statistics of assessment. You'll learn the theories of assessment in this fall class in the spring, you actually go out and practice or maybe even the summer semester, you go out and practice giving some of these, uh, some of these uh, standardized instruments to people. So that's the biggest thing. That's, that's honestly, as you put, to, put this thing together, that's the first thing I would do is, is start thinking about how can I get through these required classes, individual, count, individual counseling, counseling strategies and techniques, supervised experience uh, based on this. I'll have to take that in the fall of 2021 because it's not offered in summer. My practicum first semester then will be spring. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> fall of 2020 will be spring of 2021 and then my second semester practice uh, practicum will be summer 2021 or fall of 2021 depending on how you can arrange that so that's the first thing I would do is start building on this these have to go in this particular order. They have to build on each other. If you haven't taken, so don't stop, go. If you're among the majority of students who are just entering right now and didn't take individual counseling this fall, this is what your plans of study will each look like. So when you hit these courses, you're gonna plan for individual counseling next fall. You're gonna plan for strategies and techniques the spring after this one. You're gonna plan to take supervised experience in the fall of 2021. You're gonna plan for practicum in the spring of 2022. And you're gonna plan for your second semester of practicum either in the summer or in the fall of 2022. That's really honestly the biggest part of this. Uh, so if you, you need to take these, uh, these uh, these assessment classes, that's the same thing. You'll wanna get in the statistics of assessment in the fall, so that way it gives you some time to get it done. So uh, when you have statistics of assessment, regardless of where you're at, hopefully if, if you already came in this fall, you've taken it. But if you haven't, put that in for fall 2020, because then on the back end of that, when you have to take the, the practice, the actual, second half of that class you'll be able to do that in the spring or summer so based on that this is fall of 2020 i'll have to take this in the spring of 2021 otherwise otherwise when you look through these plans of study you have freedom to figure out when the classes are going to work for you um, the, the, these are the ones where you don't have any leeway it's, it's because I know that each one of you have lives you want to pr progress in, into your life want to get your degree as, as quickly as you can and so what I've given you here is a way to plan to get these as quickly as possible without you know making an error um, and so what we're doing between uh, Dr. Farrell and I is we're trying to minimize, uh, th there are a couple of times where we've had like conflicts. So like for instance, this semester, you'll notice that psychopharmacology, which is a required class uh, for LADC, and human growth and development, which is another required class, conflict. They're both on Monday night. Uh, we are rearranging that to where that will not become an issue in, in the future. We're gonna have those uh, fall on elective nights. So. Uh, for instance, if uh, for those of you that are LADC, um, you know that that have to have this psychopharmacology class, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make that fall on a different night that doesn't conflict with another one of your required classes, and the same for the same for LPCs. <clears throat> uh, those of you that are on the LPC track. So to put both of these kind of together. you'll see that they're very similar. You'll see that the plans of study, uh, LPC and LADC are, are very similar. You have a lot more flexibility as an LPC to put together you know, these different classes, like uh, for instance, 
you can do crisis intervention. You can take all these adolescent classes for, for children. Um, you could take, you know, a DSM diagnosis class. If you do LADC, you can't take those. You have to take these required LPC or excuse me, LADC classes. But hopefully that's helping you to make sense of this. That, that's my main goal is that this makes sense and that this process, you'll be able to start to put these things together. Um, let's see, make sure I got through the essentials here. So I did get through those essentials. One other thing to note, uh, when you go into Aleutian, um, you'll look under psychology for all of our psychology classes. Your introduction to research is an education class, and so therefore you're gonna wanna go to a little different area. And in the next video, I'll share how to get into Aleutian and start, uh, and start um, enrolling for spring. One other thing though, when you get your plan of study done, you'll wanna go in here to Blackboard. You'll wanna find MCP student, and this goes for current students as well, because I don't have everybody's. It says MCP student. And you'll see that I've got forms, I've got resources, I'll, I'll have other videos and talk to you about this in your, in your orientation. But I've got a place for form submission. If you click on that, your plan of study, your plan of, you're like, well, I need to put together my plan of study. Here's where you submit your plan of study. You'll submit it like an assignment. So you'll click on that and you'll be able to browse your computer and attach a, your own plan of study. So you'll put this together. You know, you'll be putting this together for me and other members of your committee to look at, and then you'll submit it. And that's how I'll have access to it. And the same thing will happen when you, uh, if you need to update your graduate committee form. So again, if you haven't already taken the graduate seminar class, uh, you'll go over this in the graduate seminar class, but uh, you can submit that here to me to where, you know, if you're on Alva, you're in Woodward, you're in Pocket City, uh, there's a way for us to communicate and get our documents without having to use the courier to, you know, and not, not that the other thing against the courier, but I, I would like to have them all there. So we have a, a hard, you know, digital record of, hey, this is done. And so that's gonna be what I require of all of you this first semester and moving forward is to put together your plan of study. So that's gonna be required of you. Do that over the break, uh, use these resources, you know, pull this up, pull these things up, uh, go, to, go to the forms, you know, put, put a course rotation up uh, and, and pull that thing up and, you know, use, use Windows for what it's for. Uh, you know, put one document over here and then put maybe another document over here. So you'll be going through here and seeing, and, and the way I would do it is I just go in the order that they come. So uh, for spring of 2020, you'll notice the graduate courses start in 5,000, start in the 5,000s. So don't put in all these little, uh, you know, these undergraduate classes uh, in your plan of study. So human growth and development, you'll notice that's offered in the spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that spring of 2020. And then you'll notice uh, advanced abnormal, advanced abnormal, it's there in the spring. So let's go ahead and put it in spring of 2020. Okay, and so now I've got a total of six hours there. So I got, you know, if you're, most people take Maybe nine to 12 hours. So look, look for ethics. Uh, where is ethic? Ethics is online. So that helps if you're you know, working or you have a family. Uh, so go ahead and put spring of 2020. There you've got your nine hours. Okay. Uh, so then you've got intro to research. That's offered every, that's one of the things that's offered every semester. Um, sometimes it's also offered in summer. Let's check that out, summer. Uh, so here's the summer rotation. I don't necessarily see it offered. Sometimes it comes open. Let's look in fall. Uh, oh, it's not gonna be on here because it's an education class. So you'll have to go into, you'll have to go into Aleutian and look for that. Multicultural counseling is always offered in the fall. So you'll notice 
There's multicultural, it's online. So you'll wanna make that for, if you haven't taken it already, you wanna make that for fall of 2020. And so you see, you've already got three, six, nine hours for the fall of 2020. So you can see why it's important to put these five together first, because that will help you then negotiate and navigate what you're putting in here. Group counseling is always offered in the summer. So you'll wanna put summer of 2020, or you've got three hours going in the summer so far. Uh, I do know that if you do the career education, you go up here to summer, summer of 2020, career education is offered online in the summer. So that would be a good one. That would be a good one to go ahead and plug in the summer of 2020. So then you, know, you put this thing together, you make it work for you. Think about nine or 12 hours each semester, and this thing will be done before you know it. It, it does, once you're like, gosh, this is such an, you know, uh, an intimidating process. And it, gosh, it's gonna take so long. It goes by quickly once you get in it, I promise you. Uh, my own studies did, uh, as I watch students go through, I'll, I'll be at the end of it, I'll like, oh my gosh, you were just an undergraduate, how are you here? So gang, I wish you a lot of luck. Uh, reach out as you have questions. Please use this video and, and, and I'm gonna require that you put together a plan of study uh, before we meet uh, because I do want you to have your eyes and ears and ideas on this. So take care, uh, reach out. I will see you in another video where we talk about Aleutian and how to actually enroll.